today we'll uh, take a look at the rich gold. Now I want to say a few words about the gold family. These gourds are a very ancient uh, family of vegetables which humans have been consuming for thousands of years. And uh, for all, all the gourds there is a wild counterpart and a vegetable counterpart which has been domesticated and uh, bred to increase the sweetness and reduce the bitterness. And in our Indian system of medicine and uh, cuisine, these gourds are having the top position as far as vegetables are concerned. Since they are uh, juicy and they grow in the air, they are uh, considered to be good for the brain and uh, they are uh, rehydrating in the hot weather. And if people have lost moisture or they are in a dryish condition, these vegetables are wonderful for rehydrating with minerals and uh, vitamins and all that. And uh, most of them, the skin is also edible if you know how to cook it. And uh, they are all water lovers. All the goats need everyday watering. Otherwise they will get depressed and they will drop all the little fruits. And if you don't water for 3-4 days, they will die. So daily watering in the non-rainy season. And uh, sunny disposition. They like plenty of sun. And uh, you can also intercultivate some bean or any other uh, gold also with them together side by side they tolerate the combined growing. Now I want to say a few words on the growing conditions what are required for good crop, disease free and all that. One is never do large areas of a single vegetable because that makes it convenient for the predators, I mean, in those uh, uh, pests to multiply and settle down into colonies and breed and eat everything in a relaxed way. And you will be forced to use pesticides and all. So, scatter the plants a little bit and uh, you can have three, four plants in one bunch, that's all right. And for the base of the plant, it needs a thin layer of uh, constant mulching in the summer because uh, in our Indian conditions the evaporation is very high. So what we do is we cover this uh, banana mulch and uh, so that every time watering is done the moisture is retained till the next watering. Some insect is there. If I bring it to the sun you can show that. What? It's earthworm, is it? Some centipede kind of. Centipede. So, I recommend uh, plenty of vermicompost right at the beginning and then at every stage go on adding small small quantities of vermicompost thin on the surface and then uh, collect all the good quality at mulch preferably like size EGM, ficus, teak. Teak leaves give very good result. Lagastamia Pongamia, all the dry leaves that are falling in the beginning of the end of the winter, you can collect and spread quite thin, not thick because then termites will come. We don't want much termite attack. A little termites is alright, they open up the soil because they make tunnels and the water can penetrate nicely into the ground. And these termite tunnels also make it easy for the tender roots to penetrate the earth very fast. They will get into one of those termite tunnels and go along the termite tunnel spreading the sideways lateral roots and all. So the rooting will be extensive and that will help the plant to be long lived and uh, yield well. And these gourds, as long as you go on feeding them and watering them every day, make sure the water never dries up, the soil, they can last up to a year. They will have three to four rounds of flowering and almost like a perennial they can behave if the conditions are right. After one or two fruiting, if you st stop watering and feeding, it will die off immediately. So you can uh, maintain one of these goats for a whole year, if you are a little lucky and careful. And uh, collect and hold your mulch, keep the car, soil rich in carbon so that it can hold the moisture, even a small rain or a little shower, moist the whole place. 
and then they decompose slowly into the earth by earthworms and ants and all then uh, little colonies of insects are established they'll all eat and they'll uh, they'll do their number two and that's all good manure for these uh, plants so the base is very important don't make it clean like a sterilized place because that's a, that's anti nature nature doesn't like that sterilized look that's good for some operation theaters here you are put plenty of mulch allow all the creatures to also survive side by side with us and then you can see there's no disease attack uh, is a vegetable is looking so delicious and healthy we're going to cut it very soon if you want to save it for seeds in the summer that flies will come fruit flies and they'll punch holes and lay eggs and all if you like a particular fruit usually the third or fourth fruit you can uh, cover it in uh, some cloth or some cardboard or this uh, brown paper or something so that insects don't attack now already some ant can be seen here no see ant uh, surviving but nothing is attacked it's healthy and then sometimes in the middle ah these are the babies this is the first stage after the flower see this is the bud and the flower these ants and all also pollinated there's one more variety of ant there and then after pollination it comes takes this size the first size at this point if you are if the food is not enough or water is not enough it will fall it will become like this it will shrivel up and then slowly go brown that's the end of one fruit so in between our bore well had uh, given trouble so we couldn't water for two days this happened so every day watering and if you find these little fruits are just drying and dropping that means you are not watered enough and fed it enough and uh, this string bean which is uh, excellent best among beans for the summer vegetable it doesn't cause gas if people are having liver trouble and all kind of uh, allergies and all this is the least allergic among the beans so this string bean can grow very nicely along with the ridge gourd and uh, here one more thing i want to show often people are spending money buying the granite pillars to make the these uh, stand for the plant to grow now this granite mining is ruining so many hills they are putting dynamite and blasting it day and night such so laborers are all in horrible conditions some of them are dying in the when they blast that dynamite that spray of that uh, granite powder is coming it hits the face or somewhere they die and then their children and all will be playing in the surrounding area so don't encourage this granite pillars you know you can collect a old pipe leaking pipe or disused pipe from the farm and then you can stand it up they serve very well as pillars it's lightweight you don't need people to carry it and it lasts forever at the top you can use some bamboo like this so that's some uh, little show on our ridge gourd i've written all about its medicinal properties in the bottom part in the write up so you can all uh, read it and use it